Hey, hello, and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. This is Reflex Image. If this is your first time visiting, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification icon. Uh, if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. So, if you want to achieve great depth of field, like this is the before of my picture and this is the after. Look at how blood out the backdrop is, and I actually did it without actually stressing myself out with just a single click with my Photoshop. So it's the latest version of Camera Raw which is actually out right now. Uh, it comes with the Photoshop 2024. So many of you thought it can only work on 2024, but I'll be telling you it can work for both 2024, 2019, 2018, whatever version of Photoshop you're using. As long as it's the version, it's going to work with your Photoshop. I'll be showing you what it does and actually how to make that, how to use that to your advantage right now. So not every time. We actually tend to have the money to buy everything we need when you come to photography business or our gadget business are time expensive. Starting when it comes to our lens, imagine going for a, a five millimeter prime lens these days now, it's time expensive or it's 70 to 200. You have to spend nothing less than 1000 to 1200 dollars to actually get it. So, and probably you have a small camera that actually does not, a small lens does not give you enough depth of field. With these new settings, with this new camera raw settings, you can actually just get a perfect blood as backdrop. And some might not tell you actually did that in the post processing. So, like this picture right now, I intentionally shot it by increasing my aperture so that I won't have enough depth of field so that my background won't be that blood out. So, it was intentional. Though I'm using the 85mm prime lens, this is when I actually use the full force of the lens. So, this is how blood my backdrop is straight from the camera. But I actually wanted to show you guys how to actually get the same result in Photoshop with your low grade lens, with any lens you're actually using. Even though your picture does not come out, this blood out, you can actually do that in Photoshop post processing. So, with no further ado, let's jump into that. So, the Photoshop I'm using right now is my 2024 Photoshop, which is currently selling for about 117 US dollars right now expensive but i can show you how to get some of the features especially the camera which i'll be using here in whatever photoshop version you're using so let's drag our picture into photoshop and let's start our business so here's the picture i'll be using right now drag it down to photoshop i wait for it to load up so you can see let's zoom in a little bit you can see my background is not that blurred out and to actually have a nice outdoor picture you really need a nice depth of field to come with it if you have a nice depth of field, your picture will look more enticing, will look more nice. So, let me show you how to do it in the perfect way possible by using an AI feature that comes with the new version of Camera Raw. The Camera Raw version I'm using right now is the 16.1 version. It comes with so many great features which I'll be explaining in the near future. But on this particular video, I'll be showing you the work of just the Camera Raw alone, which is the lens blur, the lens blur feature in the Camera Raw, which I actually used, and also how to get it installed your pc whatever version of uh, photoshop you're using on your pc so let's scroll down you can see i shot my picture on raw that is why it actually brought us straight to camera raw. but if you do not shoot if you actually are not a raw shooter probably learn how to shoot on raw but if you don't like it all you just need to do is to open your picture in photoshop then go to your filter under filter go to camera raw so it's going to take you directly here so all you just need to do is to scroll down scroll down scroll down scroll down and look for where the lens blow is as you can see over here voila all you just need to do right now just to click on apply and wait for it to load up you can see this is what our background looks like before see the result is actually going to give us right now it might take a little bit of time 30 seconds to about 45 seconds depending, depending on how fast your pc is and all you just need to do is just to sit down and wait you don't have to press anything on your keyboard or on your mouse or anything on the pc you just have to sit down and wait for the camera to do the job for you so with this right now you have a perfect blowed out picture without needing to stretch yourself out and without not getting a nice lens because that's the issue I have that's why I don't shoot out the most because my H5mm which I actually use here I bought it recently so before I'm using 50mm prime lens aperture 1.8 and I don't even have the money for 1.2 so I'm using 1.8 which actually not giving me what I like so that's why I don't shoot out mostly but with this right now my outdoor will be great so now it actually applied the blur for us let me zoom in a little bit. Let's zoom in. Let's check the face. So here's the before of what you click. 
Now look at the after. So to preview your before and after, you just need to click on your P on your keyboard. So P for preview, P again to bring it back. You can see our background is blurred out and it looks very nice. Probably the blur amount is not okay by you. What you just need to do is to come to the blur amount here and increase it to whatever radius you want. And you're going to blow it. And you can see the beauty about this right now, if it's so go cost daisy, there are strands in the outfit. Look at how it actually select out the strands there and actually blow out the background. Nobody can even tell this was actually done in the post processing. If you are actually trying to do it in Photoshop, you are going to space yourself out and it's taking a hell of a time. But with this AI feature, it's going to do it for you perfectly. Done in the post processing. And there are different variants you can actually use in this. Under the bouquet, you can use the circular, which is the one I'm using right now. You can use the bubble standard, click on it. You're going to see it's going to change your picture, the bubble standard. Here is our normal, as you can see. Here is our bubble standard. You can see it's changed a little depending on the one you want. And here is what what's the name of these? Here's our five blade. As you can see, and here is our range. Everything will be changing. You can see it's going to change to whatever one you want. But I'll be now look at the before and after of our picture. Before and after. It blowed it out perfectly. In a way that even if it did my own imagination so the next one option on that day again is our focal range probably what you want to blow out is the backdrop is the subject not the backdrop what you just need to do to adjust the focal range from here bring it down here but it's going to select it's going to blow out the subject and actually this and you actually need something like this and setting it to turn camera at times is hard or you can actually just shoot it, shoot it that way and come to Photoshop and get the job yourself. This can even work on pictures taken on mobile phone, not just even on camera alone. So now let's return it back to its normal position. You can see. Neither our picture is. Here is the before and here is the after of our picture. So if you want to boost the intensity of the blur, so again, you just have to come where the boost there and increase it. Of our picture and look at the after very very nice so my even tell this was done in photoshop before and after with this right now my picture is giving me the vibe i actually want for it so with just this right now i think you're good to go you just need to do is to start your color grading you touch a picture export it nobody will know you actually use a low grade lens for this so with this right now you should be able to actually enhance your picture as you all know i actually bring tips on how to actually get high quality picture with glue gadgets so that being said right now let's jump to the next part which is me teaching you how to install it onto whatever photoshop version you're using db 2019 2018 2020 2021 they don't have this version of camera so i'll be teaching you how to install this version on whatever pc you're using the first thing you need to know how to do but there's a catch there is a catch on it the catch is that you need a system requirement to actually get this right so it's called a GPU. Your GPU memory will tell me if it's going to work perfectly with your PC or not. To know what a GPU, mem GPU memory is, you just have to come to your touch bar. DB you're using Windows 10 or Windows 8 or Windows 11, I mean to say. Come to your search bar, then search for your tax manager. Once you click on open it, all you just need to do is to come under the performance and you are going to see your GPU memory. Here is mine over here. Mine is 8 gigabytes, as you can see right now. So if you are using a system with 8 gigabytes, 4 gigabytes, 10 gigabytes, you should be able to install it without any issue. But if you are using below that, probably you are using a 2 gig RAM, not system RAM, the GPU memory is, a, is an 8 gig RAM. Trust me, it's going to install but it's not going to work out for you. So don't try it. Check your GPU memory before you go and download it. So that being said right now, the next thing for you to do is to actually go to the site. I will be showing you how to download it. So see you guys in the next one minute. Let's go into one minute short break. So let me use this medium to introduce my new video course to you guys. So once you just come to this area, you're going to see a link here starting from my newest video, which is this particular video I'm recording right now. But if you're not to see the link here, once you click on more, you have to see the link, which will redirect you straight to my store. 
Here is my first manipulation course, first video course for the year, and this is the first of all time. So trust me, you will need to get this course because it entails so many details, starting from how to set up my lights, how I do my light setup in my studio, and they are cheap light setup also. My camera settings both both for indoor and outdoor, basic photo editing, basic retouching, how to separate subject from backdrop. Because that's the issue most people have when it comes to manipulation. And I'll teach you the tips and tricks on how to get that perfectly. How to create background from pictures. How to actually steal other photographer's backdrop. Uh, probably my backdrop, you love them and you want to remove my subject from it. And actually use the backdrop for your own picture. So I'll be teaching you all that. And also advanced manipulation. And also how I do my studio color grading. Especially when it comes to the manipulation aspect. And I'll be giving you guys free files also. I'll give you free files. Free value, free PNG. My premium lot for just $50 and also many people are requesting uh, where I get my backdrop from and also I'll be giving you guys the sites I use, the three major sites I use in getting my backdrop from both my backdrop, my PNG file, my lot file, my preset so on and so forth so here are the list of the files which are actually created here are everything so these are the recorded videos I did you can see I put in my very best in creating everything for you guys so just for 50 dollars you should be able to get all this and also practice material picture you're actually used to, used to practice with and also you can post them on your ig your facebook your social media platform or your platform putting your logo there so i hope you actually go and buy it right now and also improve your picture editing skill this year i noticed many of you guys do not follow me on instagram Please kindly do so today. All you just need to do is just to go to Instagram page, then click on where your search icon is, click on search, then type reflex image there. Reflex underscore image underscore image. Would have seen my picture there. As you can see, here is my picture over here. Click on it, then follow me so I can stay updated about my latest post. Not every picture I do, I do tends to post on my YouTube channel. So you get to see tons of videos and actually replicate some of my pictures from here so you can gain ideas you can derive ideas on how to edit your picture also via my instagram and do so do well and follow me today so welcome back guys the next thing we need to do right now is to go to our browser click on the browser so i'll be using my chrome browser as a prototype right now then i'm going to click on the, the browser there i'm going to click on an account there next thing i need to do with those touch my google download camera roll as you can see download camera roll then i'll click on search i'll wait for it to load up once it did i'll just click on the first option over here which is camera roll plugin you can see this is a adobe uh site this is adobe website right there so i'll click on it and wait for it to load up so once it does i'll just actually look for the version i'm looking for either i download 16.1 or 16.3 you probably we should be going for the 16.1 right now we should be going for the 16.1 right now so let's wait for the site to load up for us so here is what the site looks like right now you can see and the best part about this is that they have the macbook version they have the mac os version and they have the window version so as you can see camera is 16.1 installer you just have to click on it once you click on it it's going to download for you all you just need to do is to once you're done with the download it's about 1.1 gigabyte once you're done with the download all you just need to do is to double click on it the installation package will begin once but make sure you close your photoshop before you start installation uh db you're using 19 you're using 18 20, 20, 20 21 trust me it's going to work out on whatever Photoshop version you're using so you don't have to actually get changed in the fall to actually make this work out so i hope with this video you learn a thing or two please if you kindly do drop a thumbs up and actually share with your friends because so many people out there will be in need of this video very very desperately so with this right now i think you should be able to have a nice load out picture if you encounter any issue kindly contact me via whatsapp via my instagram and you can join my telegram and do also and i'll get back to you as soon as possible see you guys on my next tutorial reflex out so in case you're interested in getting any of my picture editing file from my overlays down to my color lookup which is my lot file so you just have to scroll down to your video so under the comment this is my description 
so it's not going to load the description for you. you just have to click on show more click on it so it's going to show all the options once it does that just click on my store link so here's my store link once you click on it it's going to take you directly to my store so you can actually select any file you want from the color lookup this is a light skin lots this is a feather which i use in my recent video this is 100 premium baby overlays this is my fourth video course this video course entails on how to download all the files i want the site i use in downloading all my files free of charge including my photoshop panels also this includes my png files this includes all my packs all my picture editing files my premium overlay my png my flying fabrics my color lookup my preset so once you buy this you've already bought everything apart from this one so here is my flying fabrics here is my in case you want to give me any project for me to work on here is my color lookup here is my background overlay and here is my preset file so in case you're interested in buying anyone you can actually go for them the good news there is that you can actually buy your own currency any currency of your choice you can buy with any currency of your choice